for West Virginia Capital Radio. And today's episode is going to be brought to you by our friends over at Tabletop Loot. Awesome dice, shirts, mugs, and other loot for your tabletop role-playing experiences. Just enter code MAELSTROM at checkout for 10% off your order. And now, for a quick message from our sponsor. You know, there's nothing better than the first sip of an ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Available in 12 delicious flavors, Nuka-Cola is the best drink on either side of the Mississippi. But you already know that. What you might not know is that we here at the Nuka-Cola Corporation have got something special in the works. No, it's not a new flavor, it's even better. An amusement park like nothing you've ever seen before. Full of rides and games and even... A secret scavenger hunt with a one-of-a-kind prize. Come, meet Cappy and Bottle and the rest of the Nuka crew. Book your tickets for Nuka World today.
our American way of life is a testament to the greatness of our country. Peace, freedom, and mom's apple pie. It seems almost perfect, but what if your future is not as secure as you think? Where will you be when the atomic bombs fall? Act now and you and your family can wait out the horrors of a nuclear apocalypse in a state-of-the-art subterranean vault from the all-American company vault -Tec. Filled with top-of-the-line technology and all the amenities you could ever hope for, you won't notice the years slip by as you wait out the radiation with your closest friends and family. Call now and secure yourself not just a future, but a brighter future underground. Boys, woo! I don't think our cameras are working. Probably, they're not. All right. Okay, anything else go better today? That probably. Would be amazing. Yeah, our cameras totally aren't working. <laughs> oh no! Let's see what I can do to fix it. I believe in you. I just gotta add them one at a time. There's Arlie, and there's Adam. Okay, now we're good. Yay. So, wow, okay. Um, man, today has just not been good for me, <laughs> tech-wise. Today has, today has been a day all around. Wow. So, uh, gentlemen. Yes. How did, uh, how did we do last session? Oh, we did wonderfully. Um, so last time, uh, we got to the, we were at the town, we made our way into the power utilities building, um, Maxwell did a lot of missing turrets with acid, um, I did a lot of ducking and weaving and probably potentially unnecessarily for part of that since I was <laughs> way outside of their range, but you know, it's better safe than sorry. Absolutely. Then, uh, there was an explosion. I may be skipping a little bit, but let's be honest, uh, that first part and the last part are the only parts that really mattered. You got a point. It's fine. Mm hmm Yeah, it was a lot of, uh, Maxwell dodging from room to room to room to room yep. to room to room. Yep. We, 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 like, we lost track of each other, and then we were Oh like, yeah, we had no idea where not... each other were. For most this is of not the a game. Good plan. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. That is a that is a reoccurring theme with Maxwell's plans. Not a good plan? Yeah. 
He's always doped up on Mountain Dew all the time, so. Yeah. But, he uh, is on oh, drugs. Yeah. He is on drugs. Like, I mean, that is actually very accurate. Yeah, quite literally. How yeah. long are your drugs still active? An hour. Oh, an hour, so okay. On ham. And then, uh, Long Strider's an hour. And then the other thing, I can just keep using it. So, yeah. effectively, I will probably be on drugs all the way through the finale. Thanks for the biddies, Clay. I appreciate it. Go sleep. Hey. Um, sleep is good. Yeah, sleep is good. Nowhere near a hey, mystery stranger, but... In, um, so we ended on last session. I believe it was Arlie planting a bomb and tossing... Was it, did he toss Adam under the stairs? He attempted to? That's he right. Attempted no. to, he attempted I, to I, acid I, the... Um, the door frame and kick me into the underneath the stairs unfortunately i have a better strength than he does and i was like no you're not do this is literally what i talked to you about five seconds ago you're which not i know it seems it. like 10 hours to you since you are at full speed um so he goes to grab maxwell which is where that nat 20 you did not want to see happen <laughs> And then the door got acid. It just sort of went like creep, straight into setting off. That's right. Explosions. Yep. And then I, he, uh, Maxwell got up to like the first floor again, uh, and I got up, managed to get up to the landing, right? And duck behind. Okay. Because because Maxwell is Sonic right now. Uh, he he gotta go fast. Okay. Um, I actually still have our um, initiatives from last time written down, which is nice. Um, cool. So technically, um, I guess, Adam, let's just go and have you make us a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy. It'll be fine. I um, that is a dirty 20. Dirty 20, okay. Uh, you just managed to pop out of the way just in time as fire and shrapnel go flying past you. Um chunks of mortar and brick um, depositing themselves just off to your left um, sort of halfway destroying the inside of the stairwell in their process um, not much left of the stairs beneath you um, the whole structure is sort of creaking beneath your weight what are you going to do um, so like the, ex the explosion is over it's explosions over. Okay. Um, I would like to do like you. a perception, maybe, or engineering check. Okay. Um, to see if I think that this structure is sound enough to actually have us attempt to continue on, or if by doing so we will most likely get effed in the A and we will die. Sure. I mean, we're already going to fumble with a nuke. Sorry, maybe not a nuke. In, in a, an apocalypse device? <laughs> um, that is going to be a natural 20. Natural 20. Um, so, like, 26. 26, okay, good deal. Um, you poke your head down, and through the smoke, and what little bit of fire that still remains from the, the explosion itself, um, you don't have high hopes for the stairs beneath you. Um, walking solidly upon them would probably most likely lead to them collapsing beneath you. You can try to go down them if you want, but... Uh, point against doing this, though. There's still a long hallway with a domed fucking turret at the end of it. There is, I know. <laughs> um, that we may have been able to get around if it hadn't been alerted to us. Um... <laughs> You, you never know. Um, uh, do we know of another for? way to get down, or is this the only entrance and exit? As far as you understand, through the building that you've been through, and um, from outside, you can tell this is a sub-ground level. So uh -huh. this would appear to be the only entrance that you've noticed so far. Okay. Um, Isaac is going to attempt to... Because it's just one flight of stairs. 
um, for him to be down. Um, he's going to attempt to go down. Okay. Go ahead and make me one more dexterity saving throw. Aye. Uh, that is going to be an 11. An 11, okay. So with your 11, you do make it down. Um, let me roll some more percentile luckness here. Um, okay, with a three. Um, so you, you make it down um, just as the uh, the stairs separate, the bolts separate from the concrete themselves and begin to cave in within. Um, Maxwell's going to have a more difficult time getting down here now, obviously, but you have made it down. Um, uh, I'm going to go, uh, if I can, depending on how much that will take an extra movement, um, like go up to the door frame, um, standing on like behind mm -hmm. to the side so that I'm not in the turret's view. Okay. Um, as, an, as a point of note, um, as you do descend, you do see like the, a red laser sort of like poking around the area, um, but there seems to be too much smoke for it to really target onto anybody. Uh, you have no problem sliding to the side of the door without getting shot at. Awesome. So I think that, yeah, that was my be the end of your turn. Oh, um, bonus action to hide. Bonus action to hide. <laughs> of course. 16. Excellent. Plus I'm in smoke and just yeah. breeze. So. Yeah, you're pretty hard to see as it is. Um, that will take us to Maxwell. Okay. I I mean, I guess I'll... How, how much of a drop is it from the stairs and where it's separated? We're talking maybe six feet. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess six Maxwell. feet into twisted metal and shrapnel. Uh, Maxwell's going to go over towards that, and then instead of dropping down towards that, he's just going to drop down the middle. You know how stairs go around? Yeah, I'm gonna just drop down the six feet to the center part where there's not twisted metal and shrapnel. Well, make me a dexterity acrobatics. Okay. Well, uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's let's see. Do I have uh, advantage on dex checks right now? With haste. I think on saves maybe. I think on saves you do. I'm not sure if you do with oh. it, uh, okay. ability checks. Okay. Well, it's a twelve. Twelve. Okay. You have no problems landing. That that works. And uh, I'm sort of gonna scoot up to the door, and it currently can't see. Um, Turn. the smoke is quickly dissipating, but. Um, For, like, it, turn? It maybe you, rec it, you would you would think it'd probably be this just this round. So it's it's going really quickly. It's been a while since the explosion itself, but okay. Uh, you said beforehand there was like a little vent in the side of the wall, right? Uh, yes, it's about uh, twenty feet to your right, uh, down the hallway on the right hand side. Okay, so can I? L and the vent is obviously covered, right? Yes. Not for long! Acid vial! Acid vial. You have to um, escape this room first, just so you know. Okay, so is the smoke also like in the hallway, because it was a fairly large explosion? Um, it is. Fuck it. YOLO! I go into the hallway, into the smoke, and I'm praying I'm fast enough to basically just bolt up to the fucking thing curl acid on the way there and just hope that the acid either trashes the vent or <laughs> weakens it enough that I can just sort of like scramble, wrench it off and scuttle in while super fast. Okay, so you Please smoke, save me. You tear through the smoke and let me give this thing a perception check and I think a natural 20 is going to see you. Um, oh god! It had a held action to attack And does a 17 hit you? No. Okay, so bullets go flying in your direction. <laughs> just back um, to being like, oh my god. But you managed to uh, sort of matrix your way down the hallway. Um, you are to the vent. Okay. I, I acid the vent, and then I guess I'll use what's left of my movement to like scuttle up into it like some horrible gangly whatever. Okay, so you tear, you don't really need to tear it off, obviously, so you just melted it off. Um, 
So you take the vent and you crawl inside. Perfect. And uh, I guess I'll poke my head out, see what's happening with, with, with him for a second, and then scoop my head back in and get ready to start shuffling. Okay. Just the mild concern of, did he get shot by, like, what I just did? Nah. Okay, he's fine. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay, that would bring us back to, uh, Adam. Okay. Um, I am going to... Let's see. Um, I am going to take out, uh, my hammer. And I am going to toss it down the, um, hallway on the other opposite side of the vent mm -hmm. um, just to try and cause some noise okay. and potentially and movement and potentially draw the thing and I'm going to be bolting for the vent. Okay. You can definitely make it to the vent on your turn. You should be able to make it through it actually if you need to. Um, you have about 10 feet of movement left after you get to it. So. Yep. Straight in. Um, yeah, it can does not, it can't target you. Um, it seems to like as soon as you throw it out it sweeps over and you take off um sort of erupting from the smoke real quickly and diving into the vent itself up uh, kind of pushing maxwell out of the way as his head sort of dangling out of it at the time it's like a very nerdy ninja yeah yeah well we finally got to do the die hard movie thing you did Pla planned it last game got to do it this game um and hiding for bonus action excellent uh, I got a, set, a five. A five, okay. But I'm in a vent, so it can't see me anyways. This is true. I'm just picturing you banging your head against the top of the vent and being like, ah, stealthy. And it's just like, it's it's Isaac covering his eyes for a moment and going, I can't see you, you can't see me. You can't see you, you can't see me. <laughs> it's like a rabbit. Okay, uh. so you guys have a vent that you're in. Um, appears to go maybe ten feet uh, straight ahead of you, um, and you see it that it so you sort of make a T intersection as it goes off to the left and to the right. The left uh, is where the turret is. You know that. So I mean, we can, can I not. do a perception check at the intersection just to see if I set, hear anything one way or the other? Absolutely. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-six. Twenty-six. Um, <laughs> You hear, I got a 19. What you would hear um, is the dull hum of, um, it sounds like machinery running. Um, like something with high voltage has that dull sound. Mm -hmm. um, that's a very prevailing sound in the air right now. Um, kind of hard to tell what direction it is, but... I mean, I'll check the right side because... You know, at, at large amounts of movement, I can scout fairly well. I go right. Okay. So, Harley, you take off to the right. Um, it goes another 20 feet. Looks like you're heading back towards the stairwell. Was that um, sort of uh, traveling beside it? Um, it curves off to what would be the south or your left at this point. I mean, I'm just going to follow it for the full amount of my movement until I get to, like, something that peek out over the hallways. Because I have jillions of movement, and even, like, if crouching puts you generally at half speed, right? Mm-hmm. I would still be able to move at 180 feet around, I think, at this point. So, like, whatever. Let, let's see how many side holes I can see to see if we can find at least one room on the right side that's useful to us. If not, mm -hmm. I have faith. I have faith in Science Bro to not screw the pooch like I do all the time. Oh, just wait. Yeah. Okay, um, so... That one will happen eventually. So, Isaac, you see um, Maxwell sort of turn to the left, and you hear this little... Dum, 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 as he's crawling through this uh, ventilation system, sort of echoing through the whole thing. What are you going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to be following him. Okay, so you both uh, take down because off. Because I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. I would I mean, not trust Maxwell. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could throw Maxwell pretty far. Uh, nah. <laughs> Average amount. 
Slightly more than average. I mean, he, he's probably he's pretty thin, being a ghoul and all. It's true. Isaac isn't that strong. <laughs> Stronger than Maxwell. Okay, guys. So you, um, you follow this vent ventilation system. It's it goes maybe 50, 60 feet. Um, this seems to once again take a sharp left. Um, as you turn the corner to the left, so you see that it shoots on past once again. Um, but you do see just the slightest bit of light ahead of you venting in from the bottom. Like there's a sub-level beneath us type thing? It would appear that maybe there's a outtake for, vent from that section. I mean, I guess I'll go over to that part and look in. Also check if that little vent covering is loose and we can like pull it in or Okay. At very worst I will take a vial of acid and instead of throwing it against it, I'll just pop lid we... and pour it around and lift. We also have like tools. Yeah, we do, but I mean I just like using acid for everything at this point. But it could drop down and alert people. Not if I'm holding on to the cover. Not the not her. the crate, the acid. Oh. I mean, if it drops down and alerts someone, I'm going to assume it alerts them because it dropped on them, in which case, that's a win-win situation. <laughs> How are you all traveling? Uh, I guess I'm taking point, just because yeah. I am faster. It means if there's, like... Yeah, I, it means if I, we hit a dead end, I'll hit there first. Mm-hmm. And Isaac is being as stealthy as possible. That's what I was oh. wondering about. And I occasionally pause to chug from the brown potion. <laughs> if I need to. Okay, um, I guess I'll need Isaac to make me a stealth check. For some reason. Wow! Okay. Uh, that is gonna be a 21. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say, since Maxwell's actually like... Doo -doo 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 -doo, not very stealthy. Very fast, not stealthy. Okay. Which I mean also would mean that for, for all intents and purposes, you're probably a lot harder to notice. Because you'd be the quiet little thing that might be mistaken as an echo of whatever the fuck else is there. I mean, ideally, they wouldn't hear either of us. Ideally. Ideally, you would both be moving at a slow, steady pace, too. So. But that does not seem to be the case, so we will go with that. Okay, um, Arlie, you make your way up to the ventilation. Uh, <laughs> the access patch, it looks like. Well, actually, it's an access patch, but it looks like it's a part where um, the ventilation blows the air into the room itself. Um, it's uh, fairly large. Uh, it's maybe 5 feet by 10 feet. Um, sort of ducks deep down into it. You can see where the vent itself is and you see where the light is coming up from it. Um, you want to take a closer look? Okay. Uh, hmm. There's, so there's definitely that, that, that hum I was telling you about earlier is definitely prevalent. It's very loud here. Okay. Maxwell reaches the edge of it and then he just abruptly stops. And now I'm going to very carefully look over the edge quickly in case there is a horrible trap, because odds are, there might be a horrible trap. Okay, so you take a look down into it. Um, you don't get a great view of the room, um, since there's not really a, a great view to be had where you're from, or where you're at, there's I should say. There's just a great yeah, view. Yeah, a great view, yeah. God damn it. Good. I'm going to be so sad when this is over. Um... Beneath you, Arlie, you see um, rows and rows of machinery um, from... I mean, I just like this, because like, at the end of every week, even if it's bad, I get to vent my frustrations. <laughs> start making perception checks at advantage over here. <laughs> Mysterious strangers now on my side. <laughs> Anywho, you see uh, rows and rows of machinery beneath you, um, all alive and chirping with some sort of noise. Um, seems to be controlling the, the power in the building and potentially the, the, the city itself or town itself. Um, 
and you also see the shambling um, metallic body of what appears to be a, a, one of those protectorons, um, sort of just walking back and forth. Um, but you don't see much more than that. Well, Max, there's just like... And he's going to very carefully start to try and like see if he can get like how wide is the thing, or is he like, oh fuck, I can't actually get across. Oh, um, at this point, he, it's like a, I don't think I want to drop down there. <laughs> no. That's all it took to keep Maxwell from doing something silly. Um, I mean, you can get across it. There's. Okay, Maxwell's actually now like gonna be careful now and very slowly stretches across after it passes by he waits until it's passed and he's seen it just because if it's a protractor on it's probably doing uh like uh a programmed patrol so he's waiting for to do that for it to pass by so he knows it's gone by and then he reaches over and sort of goes over it and then he turns around waits for like Wait, wait, waits for... Oh my god. My mind is... Isaac. Thank you. Todd. Wait, wait for, uh... <laughs> Gregory. I Which can't. one? Anyways, he, he waits for Isaac to view and then like points down and does like a... Um, as yes. soon as Isaac like looks down, he's gonna look back up and go... And he's going to very quietly whisper, if we can shut off the power, we can shut off the bomb. I mean, there's, there's, there's a robot there. There's one robot, Maybe. and you've got a giant amount of acid. I mean, if you want to distract it, but if you haven't noticed everything like I, I, me. Yeah. I can't imagine why. Neither can I. That's sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> can can we see like are there like individual generators? Uh, it's like... well, what you see beneath you um, just appears to be um, a line of machines that are controlling the um, the output. Um, can you hit the machine with your acid? Not the robot. The machine. The machines that are transferring the power. Um. You know, I could probably do better. Pocket nuke. I mean... Power can't work if all the generators go up at once, right? Isaac just kind of nods and then begins to back away from Maxwell. Very quietly and slowly. And just is like... Yeah. <laughs> Maxwell, like, puts it, like, the grenade on the edge. He's like, I'm going to need to start running. Shit makes, like, a <clears throat> motion. Isaac is just continually backing up. Like, he's not, like, trying to get to a safe distance. He's just getting out. Gotcha. Like, okay. he is getting out of the way and as far away from this place as possible at the moment. Okay, um question would be then, uh, Maxwell, how long are you waiting before you set this off? Oh, Maxwell's being a dick. He starts counting down on t on fingers. It's just, it's there, and it's just like, and he's looking at you, and being like, he's waiting to see if Isaac starts freaking out, like, oh god, please give me more time. No, Isaac is okay. just slowly backing away. Like, at he's once, get, he's, he flips he's... it down into the thing, and he just books it down the other end of the hallway. Okay. Uh, I, I basically like, as, I as soon as <laughs> as soon as Maxwell starts running and making noise, then Isaac will start going faster. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I like Maxwell at this point has a relatively good idea of like what the effect of range on the ex explosion is. He has a For very one, personal experience with it. Has a very personal experience, but he's also remembering something else. The one we used to make the last explosion was nearly dead. 
This one was a much bigger charge. He's wanting to put around twice the distance that he did between the other one, and then he's going to set it off. Okay, because you have a remote on it, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. Yep. Just... That I do. So both okay. of us are just running. Okay. Go figure that we split up again. I mean, that was your call. It was, but at the same time, we need to actually be able to get enough effective distance, and not tripping over each other is a good idea. Okay, so you uh, you drop the bomb and start taking off, and there's that dun, 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 as you guys start trying to pull yourselves <laughs> through the ductwork as quick as possible. I okay. use all my actions on dash actions since I hasted. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll call them scuttle dashes right now. Though that now brings forth the nightmarish image of a ghoul like crab walking through vents super quickly. Even rods, gentlemen. Who wants to be which one? I guess I guess I'll be. Even. You're odd. You are odd. Do not I'm lie about this. Even. You are odd. Okay. You're also odd for hanging out with Maxwell, buddy. Willingly. I don't know about hanging out willingly. Okay. Lucky odds was picked. And lucky odds was rolled. Good. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'll be disadvantage. So. Instead of a natural 20, I'm going to get a 24. Um, Maxwell, as you're tearing down the hallway, um, a nice little gout of laser comes pouring through um, the vent from below. Seems you've alerted somebody below, beneath you. Um, would it be the Tractron, probably, or would it be... Something. Something. Something with the laser. I mean, um, and you end up nine points of radiant damage. Eesh. As this, this laser tears through your body from below, um, making a nice, nice, well, not a large hole in the vent itself, but definitely somebody has spotted <laughs> that you are there and has attacked you. Fine. We have four health left. It's fine. Uh,. Yeah, I mean, I guess my entire action is just moving to the extent of my move range in this Gotta time. run away! Okay. So I... well, once I've gauged that I'm effectively at a safe point, I, I set it O. Hey, Wutang, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it, brother. Okay, um... um once I've gauged I'm at a safe location and then give it an extra bit of time for him, because I can gauge I'm at a safe location, he moves less than half as fast as I do. Mm -hmm. If I set off when I'm at a safe location, he will die. Probably. Because you'll still be in the blast radius. Okay. I mean, that all depends on what you gave yourself as a safe distance. I mean, I have an effect. If you, overshot, if you sh overshot that, then I am potentially so safe. Fair. Because basically my safe distance I'm giving myself is approximately twice as much from what I would have gauged the church explosion radius. And I'm just trying to get outside that, which, I, how many, that would take me, what, fully I, running? That would take you outside of this building. <laughs> would it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Because twice the explosion, the explosion was from the center of the church to like, outside of the church. Yeah, but only if the church was leveled. It's yeah, fun. the church was leveled. The wall was safe-ish. I only nearly died. Yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, you're just like, oh god. Is that what you're including as safe zones? Yeah, that that's a little bit past that is the safe zone, and then... You're welcome. I'm also gonna take a stim pack before I detonate it. Because I'm nearly dead, and at least this way <laughs> Okay, at just this way I have a half good odds of surviving. Just to clarify, you're are you leaving the building entirely first? Uh no. Okay. Probably shouldn't. I mean because we, we don't know if they can if we give them time to possibly disarm or tinker with the thing. You don't know if it's the dude there. Mm -hmm. He might recognize it. I'm going to just try and get to the farthest edge of the vent. If the vent does lead outside, I will take it, but we went different routes. But the fact of the matter is, I probably need to set that off within, like, 
we couldn't just okay if we, me or isaac tried to disarm it it would take us like a couple turns to do so right essentially okay so i would aim for underneath that is when i would set it off i would detonate it before i think either of us would be able to disarm it okay which is essentially the time limit i set for us it's fine i'm just gambling with our lives I'm just trying to figure out how far away from this you guys end up be becoming before you set this off. That's my concern at this point. Um, okay, so... How far are you letting me get away from this? I mean, let's actually figure that out. Uh, yes. So, your yes. movement effectively would be, what, 30 around while well crouched, I think? That's all you're doing? Yep. Okay. If my speed is if my uh, movement speed is half, then yes, because I would be movement and action dashing. Okay, and how much, t how many turns do I think necessarily would go by before I think one of us could disarm the sucker? Yeah, oh. that I'm asking. Save. Disarm the bomb itself. Yeah. Uh, one to two. I give us two rounds. You get to get sixty. Away. I get sixty feet away. Okay. Yep. I get whatever the fuck my ridiculous fucking move speed is away. Okay, so... And I take a stim pack. So Isaac is going to make it um, from where you all were at, um, down the back wall and up towards where the stairwell was at. Um, but he's still probably good 30 to 40 feet away from the exit of the ventilation itself. Um, Arlie, you could probably make it, what, to the ventilation out the ventilation if you wanted to, potentially. Yeah, he's, he's gonna actually, like, literally be, like, out the ventilation and maybe see if he can even get, like, up there, because he's... As soon as he's at the ventilation, he has to be ridiculously fast again. And, yeah. Out, oh. up. Powering. Okay. How much do stim packs heal again? Uh, four, 64? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Um, here, I'll pull it up quick. Uh, it is 64. It's like I've rolled them a bunch while <laughs> pulling you back from the brink of death. <laughs> ah, well, I healed 13 health, so I'm now at 17. For now. Yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, for now. I mean fine it's fine is it though I've, we will find out i'm at a pretty safe distance comparatively i have to find a dice roller don't mind me <laughs> ah, this can only go well yeah i mean or terribly. Or terribly, yeah. Like, there's, those are the only two options. This goes amazingly well, or this goes terribly. Okay, so, um, Maxwell, you managed to make it to the stairwell. Uh, you said you're trying to go up to the next level? Yeah. Okay, because you'll have to give me uh, acrobatics something check to get up the stairs that are not there anymore. Uh, 18. Okay, you have no issues. Um, climbing up, climbing up them, and then, and then we have a big bada boom. It's like I knew something was going to happen here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. I mean, I picked a good place to use it. Maybe. Maybe. So I rolled. <laughs> Um, there was a total of 164 points of damage that was done to the structure. Um, I'm going to need um, Isaac to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god. This is it. It's been fun, folks. Uh, that is a 12. 12, okay. So, um, Isaac, you're sort of crawling along and you hear this explosion that just shakes and rattles you to the core. Um, there's a dull whine as metal separates from um, from brick, and as you're inside of the structure, you feel it all give way underneath of you, as uh, it all seems to come crashing to the floor um, beneath you. Uh, 
he will take six points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground. You're alive. I'm. Oh, I'm rather alive. Yeah. Irradiated as hell, probably right now, but alive. It was a nuke. It was a nuke. It was. Okay, so um, you're in. You're sitting in this twisted uh, column of metal currently, um, Isaac. Um, choking smoke filling the air all around you. Um, hard to tell what's what's north, what's south, what's what's left of the world around you at this point. Um, let's see. And I'm gonna probably have to need uh, Maxwell to go make me a dexterity saving throw two. Well, let's see if I can roll better than a 19. I cannot. So I got a. Uh, was that one of my good saves? That no. So I just got a 21. Just a 21. Okay. Yeah. Um. You feel the stairs that were already <laughs> had much no not much structure to the, to begin with um, begin to pull further from the wall. The entire ground shakes. Um, there's a dull whine again as the steel separates. Um, but you have managed to um, you well. I'm gonna give you a choice here. Do you want to move up or do you wanna move down? I guess I'll move down. Just sort of okay. jump to the other wall and just ride it down with the death claw arm. Okay. So you slide back down the way that you were coming. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going to be at right now. Um, Isaac. I, um, I am going to like, pull up the nearest bit of cloth to cover up my mouth mm -hmm. um, to help fight off like smoke inhalation. Um and I am going to attempt to get like how twisted is this going to like be extremely difficult to get out of? It potentially could be. Okay. Um. I would like to check to make sure that like I'm not like locked into it or like that something wrong hasn't happened. Like gotten caught in it somehow. Um, and just try to see both like for myself at the exit near my head, um, if it looks at all safe to leave it. Okay. Um, you know the closest access to one that you just were crawling away from, I believe. Um, eh. So you start to sort of shuffle your way backwards. Um, kind of hard to turn around in this space. It's already sort of crumpling in on itself, almost accordion-like at this point. Um, you find your way back towards it. Um, and what you see is the end of it exploded off entirely. Um, the room is just full of sparks and smoke and fire. Um, you don't see anything currently moving. Um, but you see an exit ahead of you. I am going to make a beeline for that exit. Okay. So you release yourself from the, uh, the this little trap that you're in. Um, there's a door directly ahead of you, about uh, 20 feet away. Um, well, what's, what was left of it, I should say. It's more of a twisted, masticated mess at this point. Um, heading off into the, what appears to be a hallway. Um, all around you, it's just, there's machinery that's just fried and partially melted even um, from, from the extreme heat. Um, the floor itself is almost hot. Um, and around you, you see twisted bodies of robots. I'm assuming with more protectorons that might have been in the room to begin with. Um, the machinery that powered the, uh, the, the city itself. Um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna make me a perception check. Okay, that is, sadly, only a 25. Only a 25? Wow. Oh okay. Um, pouring through the, the, the smoke, um, you do see the a body 
of um, some humanoid um, laying in the far corner, which would be the northeastern corner, um, and a machine next to him as well. Um, it appears that he was blown across from um, during the uh, the explosion that you all just occurred. Does it look like it might be the overseer? It looks like it may be the overseer. Um, Isaac is going to detour to the body. Okay. And just do a quick pat down, check everything, see if he can find anything. He's going to take the pit boy mm -hmm. um, and mess with it later. Okay. But if there's anything else on him, any like cards, any key cards, any etc., he wants anything like that okay um whatever was on his body looks to be mostly evaporated at this point um, unsurprisingly yeah um before you see um the body laying next to what you would assume would have been the uh the geck that had been brought to this town um unfolded and um d do you want to take a look at it a little closer or yeah Okay. Um, most of the machinery is appears to be melted, um, much like the other ones around you. Um, go ahead and make me a science check. Oh, boy. Uh, that is going to be a 20... 20. 30, 20. 20, okay. Yeah. Um, as you look closer at it, you notice that the core itself appears to be damaged. Um probably leaking heavy radiation at this point. Um, but you don't seem to be affected by it. I think even being this close to it would probably affect you at some point. But... Isaac's nothing. gonna grab it? Uh, does it look at all salvageable? Um, the core itself might be salvageable. Okay. Um, Isaac's just gonna grab it and run. Okay. So you... uh, that and the pip boy, if it's anything left on the overseer. Okay. Um, the pip boy that's on the overseer itself is looks to be Melted. probably beyond repair at this point. Okay. Um, then, then yeah, just the geck and run. Okay. So you detach the geck. Um, there's some sort of faint um, trail of radiation following behind you as you tear off from the building itself. Um, you exit the doorway into the hall um, where you see sort of this, one of the turrets that was on the ceiling is just sort of hanging loosely. Um, doesn't appear to be functional at this time. Um, and further down the hallway you see another one. Um, similarly, this, it's not hanging per se, but it's definitely not powered on at this point. Um, That's and, what we need to do whenever we go in, whenever you go into like a building in Fallout 4, don't worry about shooting the turrets, just blow up the building. Blow up the yeah, building. power source, just nuke it. Just yeah. Nuke it. Yep. Yeah. So, um, the hallway... So the hallway would turn you guys north, and it would turn sharply to the west. Um, Maxwell, what are you doing? So this place is probably a horrible smoky hell. Um, it reminds me of home. Down the 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 night goggles he made mm -hmm. so he can see through it and he just sort of casually stuffs his hands like into the pockets of his duster and starts walking down the hallway looking around for like well stuffs his thumbs more like you can't really stuff the hands of like death call gauntlets in your pocket so it's like thumbs in i'm just casually walking down the hallway looking out for traps or anything but i have enough move speed it's just like peering for anything of note and to see if like Isaac is dead okay uh, it's not long before you two run into each other um, as you go north to the hallway and take a uh, take off to the left there Isaac you sort of see Maxwell just standing there with his hands in his duster uh, looking casually around uh, Isaac just yells we need to leave and mm -hmm. bolts out uh, calling after him, the overseer is dead. Let's go. Mm, what about the uh Got it thing? Oh, okay. Mm. You probably noticed there is like a trail of goop following behind him. <laughs> that doesn't look healthy. Nope. You sure you should be holding that? Let's go <laughs> Right. 
Okay. He just like casually jogs up beside him, and it's like you know, if you need to run faster. Nope. <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead and give me perception checks as you head back towards the stairwell. A wild Shelby has appeared. A wild Shelby has appeared, yes. <laughs> that would be such a great, just, oh. That like, I've, I've been looking for you two for a <laughs> long time. Uh, 23. That is just a hallucination. Hallucination is Shelby because you've been irradiated as fuck. <sighs> we'll find out. She'll be back for season two. That's why. <laughs> Entitle it Shelby's Revenge. Mm -hmm. Shall be back. Don't start, <laughs> don't start with me, Arlie. <laughs> don't start and then a rock me. falls and Maxwell's dead. Okay, uh, Maxwell, what'd you get for your perception? A nat 20. A nat 20. Okay, so you, as you're both are running, um, you can hear the slight sounds of what you would assume is the entire structure's um, ground level um, appears to be breaking. Um, Isaac, baton pass and drink this. The building's about to come down on us. What are you handing me? Uh, let us see. I also, guess. what does Jet do? Does Jet make you go faster? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, it then it I'm does. just going to use use Jet. Because I've got Jet. Oh, okay. But yeah, that works. He, then he reaches his hand towards, like, the Gek. Because it's like a baton pass, because he can get clear. <laughs> um, Isaac is holding on to it for, like... the His brain is not functioning that well. He is trying to get out of here. Um, but he will jam the single use of Jet he has. Um, and... Um, pick up speed. Excellent. I will actually drop one of my things so that instead of me gaining the uh, extra 20 feet, because I already have like the one thing, I toss you a vial of just It's the swift step drop. The one that doesn't have side effects. Does it have this people one... in it? No. <laughs> it probably has rad roaches or something interesting in it, oh, that's but it's fine. not people. That's fine. Um, yeah, he'll take it too, since he's like Whatever and <laughs> whatever die. I'm going whatever. to die. Yeah. Okay. So there's a problem now. Um, the building looks like it's ready to collapse. Um, you're headed towards a stairwell that is halfway missing at this point. Uh, I, specifically Maxwell, death call gauntlets, pounding the holes up into the part of the wall that I already sort of weakened to just clamber up that way, basically using them as like to form handholds up the somewhat weakened wall. They are death claw hands. They are not wolverine claws. Ah, I mean, the same difference <laughs> to death claw hands. They, except it's bone, not adamantine. Yeah. Death claw bone, though. That stuff does go through steel. Do you have the strength of a death claw? I do not, but I still have a strength of 12, and honestly, I'll still take that over. We are literally the same strength. I will still... Oh, wow, you're not even strong with me. Okay, no! Okay, I so... just rolled really bad, okay? Okay, so Isaac's going to... Or not Isaac, but Maxwell's going to try to clamber up the side of the wall with these claws. Um, Isaac... Because, I mean, no stairwell whatsoever. It's just, like, a sheer point up. It's just feet. twisted metal at this point beneath you. Um... Isaac is going to climb up. Isaac is just going to climb up. Um, there's probably enough debris sticking out that you probably don't even need the death claw gauntlets. I mean, um, I can use them for whatever to do like a handhold. Yeah, to, but like Isaac's just going to go right up, um, begin climbing as well. Okay. Um, so I guess I'm going to need Arlie to make me some uh, sort of uh, athletics check. They got some to apply for this. And sure. Isaac, I would think, would... Acrobatics. Acrobatics, whatever's better for you. I get a two! A two. No matter um, what I was going to do, it was not going to work. I got a 15. Okay. So, Isaac, you do manage to pull yourself up. Um, you do take a couple points of uh, slashing damage from Twisted Metal as you... Um, as you try, as you attempt to pull yourself up the remainder of the stairwell, um, 
but you have made it to um let's see i picture maxwell trying to punch a hole in the wall and not even managing just like uh, winded here uh, you're, uh, you're towards the bottom of the steps that are leading up to the mm. uh blast i'll call it a blast door for lack of I better words have a rope. no oh god why would i have rope um i don't think so anyways no, I've got a shotgun. <laughs> That'd be helpful if I wanted to mercy kill myself, but no. I mean, yeah. No! <laughs> that was me, not Isaac. I'm not even going to pretend that Isaac would be that mean. Um, Isaac's going to look around quick, see if there's anything, even if it's just like a particularly long piece of rebar okay. um, that he can... Lower down and assist um, him in just climbing instead of trying to punch through the wall. Okay, well, I guess I can try and go for the the combination of the two. Climb like he just did, but if there's like a really shitty handhold or something, use that to burrow weakened structure with death claw hands. Um, uh, you go ahead and both make the investigation checks then. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Excellent. Uh, that's one of the things I'm pushing, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's a 23. 23. Nice. Okay, um... Adam, you are looking around for a piece of rebar or something to the effect. Um, what you do find, um, just outside the hallway to, um, where the, the stairwells is now, you actually see what appears to be an old fire hose. Um, that's Perfect. sort of wound up in the wall itself. Um... Which looks like it has more than enough um, length to, dry, to dangle down the uh, stairwell if need be. Sweet. I'm going to grab it and start dangling. Okay. Um, Arlie, you find what you think could probably hold you. Um, short of clamoring up like Isaac did to begin with. Um, it's a pretty loose section of rock. Um that's been blasted, not only just from the bomb that, that went off to begin with, um, but the uh, the nuclear explosion on top of it. Um, the foundation's pretty bad. So but, I guess, like, Maxwell starts going up that road until the uh, fire hose presents itself as a better... The fire hose just, like, bashes you in the face as Isaac, right. like, cover... No, I didn't, like, fire hose, like, oh, this is better. Oh. Yep. Hey, look at that! It turned into a fire hose. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh. And Maxwell remembers the way to the front door, so he's like, "This is a shortcut out of here." Okay, give me a. Someone roll me a D four. Doesn't matter who. I I got you. Oops, I got a four. I got a okay. I got a one. Got a one. Yeah. So we got a one and a four, huh? Yep. Okay, whose number I got, am I going to take then? Um, up to you. Yeah, well, I asked for one person too. You both did, so I was like, "Well, I'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll pick one of the two numbers." Um, so lucky number one got picked. Um, the structure is actually the structure is starting to give way beneath you, and you have very little time. You feel to get out of this building before it collapses down upon you. You have to top the stairwells now. Um, we're at the top of the stairwell. There's literally, like, a... We can get out. Isaac is going to lead um, Maxwell the way that he came in, which is, like... I'm holding the wall now because I asked yeah. him to yep. be Yeah. Yep. We go that way. Yep. Okay. Just, like, five steps forward, left turn, out the rest window. of our movement out. Okay. So... Uh, and just bolting once we get out of there. Like, not stopping until we are farther away. Excellent. So you guys pour forth from the window. Um, even as you're just ducking out of it, the, you can hear the structure whine and creak and begin to just cave in on itself. Um, dust and uh, God knows what else. This building had been made of at one point, probably asbestos at this point. Um, this just begins filling the air as it uh, crumbles within upon itself. Um, probably the very structure itself is melted from within takes like a good extra few steps in case there's like more that should just a few steps oh, yeah, no, like there. Isaac has not stopped running oh yeah 
follow us after. I, since they're like now safely from going to die immediately, so we should probably find somewhere say Oh, the vehicle. We didn't blow up the car. Let's go get the car. It's true you didn't. Um, also, what are you going to be doing with that? Seeing if I can salvage anything. Hmm, because, you know, provided we were able to tweak it so it didn't, you know, nuke every yep. surrounding town, you know, replenishing some section of the waste so it's less waste and more forest, if it did work, would be a viable... I'm going to see what I can do about it. Hmm. Hmm. Good. I'd been rather disappointed if you were going to, like, dismantle it. If there's a way to help the wasteland without destroying everyone, kind of a net gain. Hmm. Well, if you would be, if you wouldn't be adverse to me helping you with that, I mean, we'll see. Okay, you guys are making your way back to the vehicle. Um, at full speed. At full speed. Oh, yeah. Um, with, yeah. We have not slowed down this whole time. <laughs> with a damaged core in tow. Um, That's fine. Um, I mean, do you want to, like, maybe try and, I don't know, make a makeshift... Actually, you know what, once we're at the fucking vehicle, we should possibly pause to start looking at it and seeing what the hell we can do so it doesn't just go new killer in our hands mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i want to get as far away as possible from this thing before even thinking about that so once we get back to the car um i'm gonna take a look and see if i can do anything to salvage it okay um you have no trouble making it back to the vehicle um go ahead and take me or can take me Take me. Give me a um, <laughs> science oh check or oh. engineering check, whatever you want to. Right. Um, I, I will go with science. You're going to help? Oh, yeah. Okay, so good so, advantage if you're okay. going to assist. Um, okay, that is going to be a... <laughs> 21. 21. Take a look at the core. Um, it is heavily damaged. Um, perhaps more than you realize when you first looked at it. Um, and there's something off about it. It's, it doesn't look like your typical fusion core. Um, definitely been altered in some form or manner. Um, oh, wait, wait one second. We both saw, like, the, the schematics for the GEC, right? Roughly? Yes? No? I know Isaac did. Mm -hmm. Isaac, did you, like, mention this to, like... Probably not. Honestly. In which case... So he's, like... This is abnormal. Uh... Could I tell what was off about it? Um, considering what it was intended for, um, you realize that this is not just an explosion course, it's a terraforming device. Mm -hmm. Um... So this thing has been made to pretty much restructure atoms entirely. Um, and it's at a very unstable condition right now. Uh, potentially it could go off at any time. Can I attempt to defuse it? You may attempt to. Okay. Um, science? Um, science it. Okay. Isaac, what are you doing? Shut up. I'm going to save our lives for science! Um, I would like help for this. Uh, can we try and repair or contain it? Like, I just want to turn, like, basically push the off button. Um, okay, we can try to repair to it after- You're not trying to nullify it, you're just trying to defuse it? Yes, yes. Okay. I will like, I'm trying to make way. it not explode. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a skill challenge. I. So, whoever can do whatever they want to do, if you guys want to assist each other, that's fine, but I'm going to need a series of succinct successes to do this. Um. I. Um. Well, the first roll on my part was an 11. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to use Investigation. Okay. To attempt to figure out exactly what I need to do. Okay, sounds good. Oh, that's wise. 
I mean, I don't actually know what's working here, so Maxwell's first pick oh! is... Uh, that is a 23. 23, okay. So looking closer at it, you see that the uh, the, the shell of the core is exposed where um, the lead coating would have been. Um, perhaps with your tools, you might be able to fuse it back together. Um, could we actually take bits of the vehicle that we have? Like, we could possibly acid off some of the metal from this and then, like, put it in place. Um, you, if you want to make me an investigation check on the vehicle itself to see if there's any salvageable parts, by all means. Uh, I'm not gonna lick it. Oh, lick it. Lick it. I'm not gonna lick it. 22. Um, you do find that back um, where the uh, core for the vehicle would go itself, that there is a rather uh, beefy slab of lead that you could probably use. Um, yeah, we'll use that. Okay. So we're gonna make our vehicle unsafe as fuck, but it's fine. Hey, right. honestly, okay. um, then I engineering. Okay. Um, that seems like in either engineering and mechanics, they both have the same bonus to them. So, right. um, to uh, try to. I form uh, if we the use mechanical tools. Actually, I get twice my proficiency bonus for it. Okay, awesome. Um, then I am going to instead of that, I'll let him do that. Um, I'll do um, science to figure out exactly where it needs to go. Okay. Uh, Twenty-four. And then and to direct him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a twenty-three. Okay. Um. Maxwell, you have no issues getting your tools out as quick as you can uh, and begin to uh, remove the necessary parts that you uh, need for this, uh, it, whatever. I can't talk tonight. Um, Isaac, um, you have successfully uh, managed to refuse the core back together. So that was four successful skill challenges. And I only required three. So. And that's how we do. Okay, so you guys have what you potentially think is a mostly safe. I mean, mostly it was. functional geck. It was uh, sort of uh, J rigged together mm -hmm. um, in a stressful situation. But for the time being, it <laughs> is probably <laughs> safe. Isaac is just gonna start bursting out laughing and kind of like fall like just like sit down. Wow guys, thanks for the caps tonight. Do, it's insane. <laughs> do do we have enough energy to drive back to the vault? I'm I would not actually suggest it. I once this runs out of my system, I am going to crash. You do not want me to crash the wheel. When are you gonna crash? Been like less. <laughs> like so, how, how close to the hour has it been? Gosh, so you guys have probably been doing those for what thirty minutes or so at this yeah. point. I have about 30, 25 minutes left before I drop. It is and a thirty. Minute how long? Drive. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna make it. No. Um. Um, so since we're stuck here for a bit, at least we're in a relatively abandoned area, and people are probably not going to go and investigate a large semi-nuclear explosion, because that seems like a hazardous thing to do, at least in the immediate aftermath, you can go and explain me what the hell, since you at least seem to have an idea of what this is. It's a gek. Um, this is the thing that was... <laughs> they were going to use to do the terraforming bomb. I, he did tell you about the terraforming bomb. Okay. Um, so, and also, Isaac is going to look around for a relatively stable building, um, and like he's going to um, suggest that we go in there, just get out of the middle of the open, just in case mm -hmm. people do come investigating the large, almost nuclear explosion to see what happened. Yeah, um, um, I guess we'll pick the place near where we park the no, we'll pick the place across from where we park the car. Whichever, whichever is the most, like, stable-looking building. Okay. Yeah, but not in front of where we where the car is parked, because they might investigate that building for the car's owner, but we want one that overlooks it, and we do not want to be directly adjacent to the giant crater hole, because people probably 
probably look at that. Okay. okay. Um, you managed to uh, find a, an old service station. Um, it's pretty well intact at this point. Um, empty garage, if you want to hold her up in there. Yeah, garage sounds good. Okay. Um, and Isaac is going to, like, while he's ex answering whatever questions Maxwell has, um, since we're going to be resting here probably for at least a little while, um, he's going to start repairs on Mal. Oh, okay. Cool. Because he hasn't had a chance to do that yet, because things have kind of picked up rather quickly. I mean, um, I guess if, if Isaac isn't adverse, I can assist with that. Since you do not. He will not let you help. Hmm. Like, if you even suggest it, he will just be like, no. <laughs> There's like a nun. He just shrugs. So, what are you going to do with the Gek, then? It's a terraforming device, but I wouldn't suggest bringing it back to the no, we're shelter. Going... I recommended going back to the shelter so that we can let them know that we took care of the business. It has nothing to do with the Gek. Well, I was going to suggest is we possibly hide it inside the car. If we bring it inside the shelter, we run the risk of them uh, trying to claim it. If we leave it on the car, we're going to leave it unprotected. No, 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 no. I'm suggesting we modify the car so that it can fit gonna search the inside of the car for the gek especially in somewhere like in the engine let's say if we temporarily modify the court like a you know like a second i was i was car. i was honestly thinking we just stop there let them know things were fixed and then go wherever see if we can find somewhere to use this safely I mean, so we would only be there for a few minutes well, okay. I mean, so, we wouldn't both even need to go in. Well, here's the thing I was going to bring up. So, this place was running off the city's power, so, mm -hmm. uh, since it was hooked up, whatever, to hit its maximum range. Mm -hmm. If it had less power running through it, that would possibly limit the range on it to... We'll have a... to look... At, we'll have to investigate the machine very thoroughly uh, before I mean, we make any decisions. Yo, save. Question. Since we had a relatively good idea, at least, of what was going to be encompassed in the explosion, this was the explosion actually, like, going to be adjacent to any towns necessarily, or was it more just sort of stuck in the middle of nowhere to catch as many as possible in, like, the peripheral? Oh, there's, was... there's several small towns within the radius of it. Um, you don't know if they were inhabited, of course, but... Like, if we found a way to, like, sort of tinker down the rates range so it wouldn't be quite as big mm -hmm. would there be a way to sort of safely test oh yeah in this area without i don't know nuking everything that was intended to while still confirming whether or not it would you know work and set off a glorious nuclear dawn uh you know that kind of thing no <laughs> i we what Isaac is planning to do with this thing is find a um, location potentially nearby the vault, um, see if he can limit the range so it is a smaller area, and basically create a fertile, um, pro highly productive area nearby the vault where they can use to make food and grow food. So, I mean, that seems like a waste of its potential. <laughs> Isaac doesn't answer him. Quick question, by the way, Dave. Yep. Like, since we got to actually poke at it, how charged or whatever does it seem? Mmm. I mean, it's a fully charged cell. That's there's no question about that. Um, I don't know. It's it's you'd have to really take some research to it. Um, compare it against the schematics to really understand its its workings and its mechanizations. It's not like a typical fusion cell. But as it currently stands, like there's no way to actually set it off without prepping anything. Correct. As far as you know. Yeah. 
then yeah it, it's just maxwell like looks really annoyed and then he's just like wait so yeah if it needed like the power of a city though isn't there just a way to make whatever a device on a smaller scale we'd have to re we'd have to look into it we don't know you right now. Uh, fine, fine. Um, who has control of the deck right now? Okay. Isaac has it, like, right next to him while he's fixing Mal. Like, probably has the thing open, mm -hmm. just in case anything, like, pops up on, like, changes, he'll be able to see it. Like gotcha. He's splitting. He's splitting his every once in a while between fixing Mal. He'll eyes over on it. Excellent. Okay, so um, you guys bunker down. Um, getting close to evening at this point. Um, you bunker down inside the garage. Uh, Isaac begins to take his tools out and work on Mel for the first time since. Gosh, I don't know. Episode two, three at this Probably. point. Probably. It's been most yeah. most of the adventure. Um, Finding his inner peace. Seems like Maxwell's having a little thoughts in his head about what could potentially happen with this gek or what he could probably do with it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. You know, I'm going to find my inner peace and uh, get unexhausted. Small rest. Sounds like a plan. So, okay. so you guys take your long rest. Um... I don't think you really need to roll for that, do you, Isaac? Nope, I just need to, like, I think it's, like... Um... There you go. Uh, eight hours of work total. Okay. Um... So, long. so I'll do I'll do a little bit of it. Okay. Um, I'll, like, start it. Sounds good. Um, I said it's, it's going towards the evening, so you get a good chunk of it done. Um, before you feel like you need to lay down and uh, take a sleep. Um, while he's doing that is like while he was doing that is where like Maxwell sort of he sits down and he's just more or less comfortably resting. I figure it may as well so one of us can be awake at all times. Right, right. Um, and Isaac will actually like work until completion on Mel. Oh, okay. Um, and if uh, Maxwell wakes up and seems capable of driving, um, he'll suggest that they head out mm. towards the vault. Sure, sure. Yeah, I think uh, Maxwell probably conked out not too long after you guys got into the service station. Um, just for a little bit, um, due to the uh, potion that he drank. <clears throat> yeah, the liquid hate that he drank um Which i'm like wondering how, how is isaac dealing on the come down from jet probably fine probably yeah oh man is that one of the perks for being a scientist no make me, an, 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 make me an intelligence check uh maxwell uh 11 Okay. Um, with your 11, um, you know, that amount of radiation exposed from a core should have killed Isaac. Question. Answer. Can I investigation check to see if he's showing any sort of signs of, like, early ghoulification or anything? Like, would I know what to look for at this point? Um, if you give me a medicine check, I'm sure we can probably Ah, yes, that. the way the ear is falling off, yes. Clear <laughs> ghoulification. I mean, <laughs> since, since I'll probably... Maxwell, why are you first. staring at me so hard? Yeah, it's like, you just wake up to, like, Maxwell staring down at you and, like, oh, what the hell are you doing? Well, I mean, you didn't feel when I pulled out your liver, so... I didn't... Implying that Isaac would sleep around Maxwell after the... after what happened. I mean... probably? No. Yeah, gotta, eventually. Eventually. Um, yeah, uh, 22. Okay, yeah. 
you do not see any signs of him converting, no, I guess you want to call it. I would say, like, mortification of any point. There's no just... putrescence going no. on. No necrotic. Putrefaction. That is a putrefaction. That's pretty gross. So wait, no, so that. So oh, good. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm, so he he should be dead though by all accounts. Oh, like, absolutely. Several times over. Um. So here's the interesting point though. Should he have died? No, I'm not just thinking about from like the core. From the core. At what point? Itself. Yes, actually, because hmm. with the radiation, the ambient radiation from the nuke grenade going off and his technical proximity to it, should he have been dead from that or at least impacted by that, or was... You would think he would have been. Okay. But he doesn't show any signs of sickness or anything, which means, like... Mm. He is perfectly fine. Damn right I'm fine. And for someone who's been carrying around an exposed core for several minutes. Mm. Yeah. But not showing any sort of, like, mortification or anything like that. No negative physical signs whatsoever. Okay. So, he became Captain America or the Hulk. <laughs> Don't make me angry. <laughs> You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> I'm not mean enough to shoot Mel. He would kill you. <laughs> yeah, I know. He would kill you. I'm not mean enough to shoot Mel. You, on the other hand. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I, I will actually poke at the Gek when he goes asleep to see if it's giving off anything. So oh, as soon as you actually. wake up, he suggests that we go to the vault. Oh, that. Yeah, I no, guess. like... I would like to see that first, though, because you should... He just... All right, you should be dead. On so many levels right now. Well, actually, let's count... The, and he starts checklisting why you should be dead... Like, I would like to make a medicine check. Sure. Um, that is a 19. If you're looking for the same answers that I just gave Maxwell, yeah. Like, um, he's more, like, running through what would not, what would make him not be dead. Oh, also, secondary thing? <clears throat> He then goes over, he's not showing any side effects from Jet. And since Maxwell, you know, dealt with chemicals and stuff a bunch too, and things that were more sleazy, it's like a... He just goes right over the checklist. Wait. You both... Okay, so you guys both go through these questions back and forth, uh, different scenarios. No, that's not going to work. That would still affect him. Blah, 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 blah. There's I only... said originally I was putting, like, rad roji mutagens and stuff inside like the healing things you did would that possibly compensate for this do you don't think so okay poison me you bastard <laughs> i mean she doesn't admit this one yeah but yeah he doesn't admit it like a... been doing a lot of fucked up shit behind your back <laughs> trust me um <laughs> The only conclusion that you both come to that would make sense is if Isaac was a third gen synth. The only thing that would make sense in this situation. Have I seen Isaac get wounded at all? Oh, yeah. Um, has anyone seen inside that? Because third gen, they're still like cybernetics. They anymore. are identical to humans. Except for like chips it, and those are taken in your brain or like you basically have to kill the person to find out if they are or not and not basically you have to kill the person Did you, you didn't know your synth mm. no 
Well, I mean... Like, Isaac is, like, kind of, like, poking at himself now. Wait, actually, question. Could he still be a... Because, like, when a, a nuke goes off, it, like, fries electronics in the center. Wouldn't that have fried, like, any chips that were in him if he was a synth? Potentially. Um... So, could he actually be a third-gen synth, then? Given Potentially. Potentially. Uh, you know, just Maxwell being like, ah. I mean, you all can't verify anything. It's just the only situation that makes sense, given thank, what's happening. Thank you for being a medical curiosity, Isaac. God. I mean, I should pick the right profession for it if I am. I mean, I guess we could X-ray you or something when we're back at the shelter. Maybe. I mean, that might pick up. Would, would um, <laughs> that be a science or medicine? What's the difference now? Um, for would that actually show up? If we knew what we're looking for this time, potentially, because like, or would it be too shielded by like mass and matter? Gosh, I think you need, like, a deep cat scan for something like that. Well, of anyone, deep any two cat. people... Of any two people who could build one of those things down the line, I mean, I guess we got the right team for it. Yeah, okay, so now it's like, a, okay, let's get into the car and talk about this, and how to put that Gek to use. Because there's the, you know, the last option, which is... So We're using, and Isaac will just stop him and repeat what his plans are for it. Look, 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 look. No. That for a second. No. This is very important. No. What if it modified you while the core was leaked? So it's meant to convert things, right? And it take converts off. atoms entirely. It yes. didn't go off. That you're aware of, because it was also leaking. It, it leaked, it didn't go off. A leak is different than an activation. But here's the thing, radiation it's supposed leaking. to convert radiation, right? The fusion core is leaking. The leaking from a fusion core would, doesn't alter atoms. But it's not a normal fusion core by far. Like, I've seen a number of them now, and even in the state that it is, that entire core is abnormal. Is the core itself normal, or is it just u being used as, like, a power source, essentially? The core itself is far from normal. Okay. Like, Mash was like, it is not normal. That is an abnormal We're core. not using it to alter anyone. I'm not saying we use it to alter anyone currently. I'm saying... Period. I mean, I would be entirely up for self-experimentation in this regards. Because, you know, if this in theory actually did work and is why you are currently immune to the effects of Jet... Since, wait a second... If he was a synth, like, wouldn't Jet also not work on him? He didn't feel the side effects, but you'd think it would also not provide him the benefits. <laughs> Stairs, it's like, a, if this thing, like, somehow... As he's just like, I'm, I'm more of a medical doctor than a science doctor. I know I'm good at science, but... I mean, this is medicine as well. It's, it's you know, biology. It's chemistry. And we've, well, I mean, it's chemistry, but it's also the fact that your biology seems to have been modified. And, you know, getting towards the car, getting in, and, like, we have 30 minutes to talk about this before we get to the shelter. We Go. don't know that my genes were modified. I mean, we could check, though. Do you have a... The lab, actually. Do we have a base sample of my genes to measure anything uh, against we would have base samples of human genes to measure against those humans um, i was i'm from a completely different area I who knows what mutations any... would have been, happened due to just radiation that was in the air over here versus what was going on where i'm from i mean actually the a good question is do you ever remember being drunk uh i don't drink I don't know, affected negatively by anything that would have been chemical, radioactive, or I get the like sad. That. I have emotions. I'm not saying emotions, I'm talking about things like... I mean, that's a chemical were... reaction, that's a chemical response. 
I will crash this into a tree if you don't actually dredge your memories harder and think about moments where... I don't do drugs often. I don't drink. <laughs> um, I, I uh, don't know that really an answer because I don't do those things. You realize, <laughs> though, that if, if it's not you and it is the Gek and that potentially provides people immunity from radiation and chemical... You have something that should be used on more than just the wastelands. I mean, that would require us to make it leak again and hope and pray that it was that and it because if it's not, it will kill that person. Um, leak again or make smaller surface samples of it and, you know, possibly try and use it on other living creatures that aren't humans and there is a number of them in the wastes. I'm not experimenting on things and killing them. I'm using this for a definite positive. Something that will help people survive immediately and for the future without risk of killing them. Did just max out like close the car? We have the potential for something. I'm not Leon. doing it. Okay. If I have to get out and walk now, I'm not doing it. And he chugs a thing of Jack Claw. Okay. <laughs> so what is happening here? I'm, I'm guessing he's going to try and take it from me. I'm, yeah. guessing, I'm guessing so too. Initiative. Uh, initiative. By the way, am I technically at full health because we got a rest? It took a long rest, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Here we go. So it seems that episode ten is going to end in PvP. You got a twenty. Apparently. Nat twenty. Nice. Oh, I don't think I am gonna beat that one. Uh, no, I have not that for initiative. Okay. So, Isaac, you see him down this liquid and reach for you. What are you going to do? Um, I am going to shoot him. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, with my pistol. And that is going to be um, a hit because it's a 23. Oh, shit. I only have a 22 defense. Where is my... All right, that is going to be uh, 18 points of damage. Ooh. Oh. Max damage. Damn. Well, that's the first one. Uh, I take it it's my turn now? Uh, no. Oh, you get an attack twice? No, I'm getting out of the car. Ah. There. And then I'm going to bonus action hide. Okay. And that's another nat 20. Oh shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, um, so uh Maxwell. Yeah, uh, you've been shot. You're there's blood, I mean, all over you, the seat, everything. On the side of the win window, um, you see uh, Isaac bolt from the car and disappear into the oh, tree yeah. line. Maxwell just looks so miffed. Miffed. Uh, he then takes the Psycho Claw, and then <laughs> there's just like a stares, looks, he bolts off, and Maxwell's like, takes the Psycho Claw, and then he takes the Eye Drops, which give me True Sight. Which I think that, does that help with finding people who are hidden? That helps with invisibility and seeing in the dark. Oh wait, does it? Wouldn't yeah. actually affect with hiding? I don't no. Think it doesn't affect hiding. Oh, in that case, I'm just going to use one of the Blood Packs. Okay. We feel 8d4 plus 8, so I'm at back at full health. 
because it can't not put me at full health. Uh, I also now have to roll for the amount of temp 16. HP I have. And then I'm gonna roll to see if I can actually fucking see you, which is doubtful unless I roll a nat 20. Does, does, does he have to roll to keep control of the car while healing and downing all these drugs? I stopped it. Yeah, you guys, he stopped it, I believe. Oh, okay. I, I stopped it, because I Fun like... fact, uh, one of my games, everyone died because the driver was the healer, and he <laughs> healed while driving. Oh, that's actually brilliant. <laughs> it was amazing! I did not roll a nat 20 for my perception, so I know the relative direction he went off at, but not where he's gone. So you know what Maxwell does? Takes the keys, just so this guy can't fucking go behind me and just start the car and leave! <laughs> Okay, so are you staying in the vehicle, or...? Uh, no, he steps out, and he's just going to very casually walk in the direction he last saw him go before he just vanished, and he's like, Isaac, you have the opportunity to do a lot of good for the advancement of not just the Wastelands, but the people in it. And I'm not going to let you squander this. Isaac, it's your turn. Isaac's leaving. Mm. Okay. Uh, continuing being stealthy. Um, Roll a new stealth and let's see if I can spot you. Mm -hmm. Hey, that one's only a dirty 20. Okay. Okay. So you're moving 30 feet more away. Um, and I am moving, like, at an angle. Okay. Um, like, heading directly towards the trees as close as I can get to them. Okay. If perception is matched to the hide score, is it go to defender, essentially, or...? I believe the defender wins, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck. <laughs> so I, you still can't see me! Um, There's woods, though, right? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Definitely wins. Okay. Right um, fuck it. I, I think, fire flask. Well, it's technically Slazic's so just... turn. Oh yeah, quick. good point. He's got a bonus action, so. Um, I assume hide. he's going to use to hide. Yep. Yeah. Do you want me to roll an another? Yeah, just give me another hide check. Okay. Hey, that is going to be a twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Maxwell. Uh, I'm going to use the potions of fire on the forest itself to just try and burn him out. Can't really hide easily if there's nothing to hide behind. So he just literally chuck, chuck, because I can currently attack twice and try to set basically just arbitrary two chunks of what looks like anything that he could hide behind on fire. And then I'm just going to spend the rest of my time listening. Okay. So it brings us back to Isaac. Um, there's fire now. Oh, um, and I stick on the... Because you said it's evening, right? Yeah, it's got up, so it's daybreak at this point. Oh, it is daybreak? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am going to continue moving away. Okay. Same direction? Are you moving up a little um, differently, or...? Like, switching. I'm never going in the same direction for too long. Gotcha. Um, just putting more and more distance between us. Okay. Um, I will probably and then uh, I am going to chuck um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to pick up a rock and throw it in the opposite direction. Uh, attempting to create a distraction, or like make him think that I was over there. Okay. So just give me, um, gosh, a ranged attack roll. Alright. Uh, that is going to be a, a 21. Okay, excellent. God damn it. I wish you'd get twos like I do. And your bonus action to hide, I'm assuming? Bonus action to hide. Uh, that is another 21. Excellent. Um, okay, Maxwell, so there's the tree line that's about 25 feet away from the vehicle you're standing at now that's on fire. Um, Tiffany, you're really good at hiding. Where's Mel? 
Where's Mel? Mel's not complete. In his so. bag. Yeah. Fuck. Um, give me a perception check there, uh, Arlie. Uh, oops. With advantage, I only got an 18. Okay, um, to the northeast of you, um, do you hear the sound of rustling? Um, I fire potion twice there, just around it. Just, okay. Because the entire point is to just burn him out of cover and completely waste this entire area by just fire pushing it repeatedly until there's either nowhere for him to hide or actually that's basically it i know he's incredibly good at hiding i just need to torch it okay so that'll bring us back up to isaac and i'm still going straight away i think i've gotten what like this will put me 90 feet away from him yeah you're 90 feet yeah. away now um how long large is this forest am i at the other end yet Oh, it's you guys are just outside of like a national park. So okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. You can do this for miles. All right. Uh, so that is going to be a uh, 18 for stealth. Okay. Uh, and just keep on moving. Okay. Like so, I'm like 90 feet away from him now. You're 120 feet away from him. 120 now. feet away from him. So, uh, and keeping on moving. Okay. Since he's decided to be stationary and throw things. Yeah, so he doesn't know which way yep. you are. Yeah, so yep. you're basically just walking up behind and like firebombing shit as you walk through the forest. Um, you're not finding him though. Uh, not. Yeah. But it's your turn. How long did it take me to make the nuke grenades? It's just flattening a section of the forest would always be an option. Like an hour? It was a while. With assistance? How much would it take me just to, like, make the car go nuclear without really bothering to tinker it? Like, Actually, wait, no, I can't radiation leak you because you're immune to radiation because of whatever. Ah! Uh, I'm also not going to have advantage on perception checks soon because that's nearly run out. So 17, which I assume you're fucking... No. It was 18. Like... You have, like, never got... Yeah, so I just firebombed two more random sections of the park. Okay. It's back to Adam again. Keeping on moving! I imagine you're probably switching directions and stuff as you do yep. this. Yep, yep. So I used another dice just to see if it was... That dice, I got a dirty 20 this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, just moving away, away, away. Leaving mm -hmm. Maxwell surrounded by flames and destruction. Yeah. You're definitely out of sight, that's for sure. Come on, not 20 perception. No. No. <laughs> not even. <laughs> 17. I think that's like the highest at I've rolled. At least Wait, no, not you've... 20. You, yeah, no, you've rolled the net 20. Dirty tw no, it was a dirty 20. It was a dirty 20 I rolled to tie with your dirty 20, which went to you, because Defender. And, uh, you've, like and you've rolled, like, 17s, 18s, and, like, 19s almost every single time you've tried to spot me. <sighs> well, uh, actually, just like, <clears throat> fuck. And, yeah, just gets in the car. And I'm going to, I guess, chug a thing of rat away in preparation for what's about to fucking happen. So, Jet Claw, when it winds down, oh, yeah. and Cycle Claw, both have downsides. I only had something like five rounds to try and stop him. Technically, yeah, five rounds to, to try and stop him. He just hid away, so it didn't matter. So I now have to make a... Fuck is it? It's a con save, wasn't it? Yep. What's the DC? Uh, only 16. Which, uh, I did in fact make. Oh, that would have been so perfect. <laughs> I mean, it would have been he, perfect. It would have been, but yeah, no. Uh, I still take a thing of exhaustion. Oops, even yeah. making it. So, there is that. Oops, you have one level of exhaustion now. Yep, yep. And... Hmm. 
Well, he's on foot. Yeah, I guess I'm going to just... Key, car... Maxwell, I guess. Is, is not sure if he's going to go to the shelter. He imagines not, but just in case. Maxwell's going to drive to the shelter first. Okay. Because you mentioned you were going to go there. You might still feel indebted to tell these people they're safe. So Maxwell's going to try and get there first. While exhausted. And, oh right, I have to actually make driving checks. Crying. Well exhausted. Yeah. So, I mean... Disadvantage... I get a nine. <laughs> uh, driving's not exactly hard, even when you're exhausted, but, um... It's a low DC. You're, you're fine. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want it to be a blaze of glory, okay? Just technically, he's like I mean, a forest on fire, a, so... I mean, we, we burned a national park down. I mean, a Just a little thing. bit of it. Okay. You'd be surprised at how uh, resistant to fire some kind of trees can be. It's true. Um, yeah, and I guess... Because of... That... Uh... Maxwell is going to A, take the car, but then he's going to sort of drive it to a distance away from the... the he's going to drive it past, like, I guess, five minutes. Because it's going to take him a while on foot to get the distance that 30 minutes on car would, correct? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's hard to take him so, four or five hours to get there at this rate. Yeah, I guess Maxwell would, like, park the car, like, I don't know, a good, like five minutes past the place so it looked like he's not necessarily there first activate the pit pool use one of the brown potions to just like full tilt jog towards the fucking uh, base and then he's going to change the security settings on the base to, to shoot Isaac okay so you're going to and, the vault uh, itself right yeah cause okay. I mean that's where all the, the, the vault that's is. being run by the people who do not trust you uh I mean, actually, they don't necessarily like both of us, but we also did deliver both of the things. The, but, but yes, that one where oh, they're... Yeah. And, and, oh, yes. And you think Preacher's gonna let you change everything? I mean, Preacher would have to stop me because of one thing. There's the terminal, the backup terminal that's connected in the, uh, the maintenance tunnel. I use that one. Oh, the, the, okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I thought you were going, like, straight for the Overseer. Terminal, I'm like, Ugh. no, don't need to. So I, I'm going to tinker it with that to remove Isaac from the, the safety. And then I'm just going to basically camp there. I'm going to set it so that he's able to get close within its range mm -hmm. and then fire on him and also alert me when he shows up. And I'm just going to camp in the back door because where would I go? If I was trying to sneak in because I might be there, I would take the back door. Okay, um, when you arrive to the vault, there is nobody there yet. Just so you know. That's even better. It hasn't been that long since you guys went to Crumb. And by the time right, that so they pack up the entire town and transport themselves over there, it, it would has take a long just time. been like. It has been like. A few, I mean, it's been overnight, of course, but yeah, hasn't been a long time. Um, it hasn't. D and D time is weird. Yeah, it is. Also, the fact that the games take place over weeks, so we're like, uh, what is right. Isaac doing? Um, Isaac is going to attempt to um, reprogram the Gek. Okay. Um, and he is going to go find a suitable location, and he is going to activate it. Okay. Um, are you? Do you know what direction you might be headed, or? Um, he's going to go slightly towards it, but he's going to towards the vault, but he's going to stay like a good deal away from it, um, just in case he gets his measurements wrong. Okay. He doesn't want to affect everyone there. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Um, but he's going to be like far enough away. Or he's going to attempt to make it so that it's small enough and far enough away from both Crom. Like, try to get equidistance okay. from both Crom and the vault. This is um, just Shelby in case back. that uh, people want to stay at Crom. 
from. Um, or use it as an outpost, they can still be decently uh, nearby to the source of potential food. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah, this is how Shelby comes back. Really mm -hmm. So, um, Maxwell, you wait and wait and wait the vault. Um, hours and hours go by. Um, before long, you start to see the remnants of um, the, the, the town of Crumb slowly pouring themselves from the woods towards the vault itself, um, carrying all their belongings along with them, um, appearing to take residence up within it, as you guys had suggested not that long ago. That's, that's cool. Maxwell's just sitting there in the service. You know what? Maxwell is going to just sort of casually from the thing that he removes that service access from the map. So they're not necessarily going to find it other than by so any sort of digital map thing. Just he, he's, he's in a blind spot from them at least. So there's not very high likelihoods of them popping over here. Right. Because uh, he doesn't know where the fuck Isaac is, so he's just like, I need that fucking thing. Isaac, why don't you go ahead and make us the last roll of the campaign? Science check, engineering check, whatever you want to do. Okay. <laughs> you get a, not 20 either got a 1 or a 20, I'm not sure which. <laughs> 20. Why do you 20. keep rolling good, goddammit? Okay. So. It, it didn't even roll that t like it just kind of like spun in the air and then so um, Arlie as you're watching the uh, the people of Crumb comes towards you um, you look to the northeast um, just beyond the Tug River and you see a massive explosion happen um, this purple radiated cloud of a mushroom almost sort of lifts up into the air rising and rising. Isaac, not far from the site, you stand on a hill and watch your get go off. Um, and before you see the, the land itself just rearranging itself, um, what was once this irradiated soil has sprouted new black, rich, deep colors. Um, greenery being to form on the trees themselves as they seem to shed all these hundreds of years of, of, of radiation and waste upon them. And it's almost like you've built this whole new Garden of Eden before you um, in a land that's maybe five, six acres total. Um, not a large portion of land, but definitely... Compared to the rest of the wasteland, I mean, it's a paradise at this rate. I guess the only thing left to do is pilfer what the fuck information there is from the overseer's computer here by backdooring it, get the schematics for a geck, and try and do that all again. Okay, so we pan away from this explosion <laughs> and this, this beauty, and um, Isaac sort of proudly looking over his work. Um, to the site of Maxwell, deep within the vault itself, um, being surrounded by people walking back and forth from the residence of Crumb as he digs deeper and deeper into the computer system, um, where, the, where the schematics of the Gek pop up on his screen and a smile creeps across his face. Because, hey, I have a full vault full of guinea pigs here. And that is where we're going to end. Fallout 3 or 4. At least. We didn't die. We did not die. You almost killed each other. but We almost killed each other. Actually, no. <laughs> I almost killed you. You almost burned down a national forest. <laughs> if you didn't have a hide, it might have been... Because I wasn't actually... Maxwell didn't want to kill you. He wanted you unconscious so he could get you. <laughs> Isaac would have killed Maxwell. Oh, yeah. Hey, no question about that. So if we have a season two of Fallout 3 or 4 one of these days, I think we know who our villain is. Um... Isaac. <laughs> yeah, Isaac. <laughs> we're we're going to play all evil characters, and Isaac will be the bad person. Yep. 
That or they're both. You, you just have two factions because it's just like Isaac and Maxwell are both off using the Gex for two different very things. You know, like the fuck. I would have to play the good character this time, though. I could very easily play the evil character. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so it's been a fun ten episodes. Um, we did it. We come to we a, a somewhat logical conclusion. <laughs> very I'd logical. Very logical for the characters and everything. Mm-hmm. I assumed that something was going to happen with Maxwell and that guy because Susie saw it. I just. It, like I said that right at the very starting background, like if we came across it and it was just so hard and you like, if you had been like, yeah, I'll work with you on this, to, but you're like, no, and I was like, nah, Maxwell's gonna fuck. Okay, okay, gotta. I mean, if you hadn't like literally done what Isaac asked you not to do four seconds after he asked you to, he might be more willing to work with you. This is true. But True, since you but almost he killed on, him, he was on how many drugs? <laughs> that's that's all the time. That is not an excuse for working alongside someone on sensitive matters. It's like, oh, don't worry, I was just on so many drugs at the time. How so can you blame me? Hey, like, so. that's like the exact opposite thing you want to hear from somebody. You're like, oh yes, I was on so few drugs. Sorry. So uh, I think we're going to be taking a little hiatus on our channel here and. Probably back before too long with some fun stuff. Um, you guys want to do some one shots or something down the road or whatever you want to do? Oh, heck um, yeah. It doesn't have to be me running it. I'm not saying that. Um, if you guys have somebody or you guys want to run something, by all means, let me know. We'll, we'll make something work out. Um, and I'll whatever. be not a scumbag. I don't I'll, we, believe it. I'll believe it when you see it. We don't even have to do it here. It doesn't matter to me. It's, I'm so do. sad though, because it turns out that the only person I got to experiment on for a prolonged period of time was yourself. Also, you, but I mean, you were probably immune to it. Every single one of those healing potions has things wrong with them. This, this, my, this is my surprised time. face. Yeah. This is my surprised face. I had I had this plan from because you know like we had all this thing. I'm like, if I'm gonna do. The mad scientist trope, I'm gonna do it right. So from the outside, I talked with Save about what was off with every one of the potions as I got them. And it was just a long-running experiment. Technically, they were not, like, drug addiction anything. It was more like, you know, the healing potions were trying to splice in, like, Radroach DNA into you to make you immune to radiation and make you a better survivor of the wastelands. Good luck with that. It's fine, and also like like Trinity would have liked you a lot more. Eh, I doubt it. You would have been no. Trinity no. loves rad roaches. And oh, for the rad roach <laughs> thing, yeah, maybe. I mean, I I think that it's impossible for anybody to like Isaac any more than they already do because I know if you're everybody a loves Isaac. Rad roach, He's Trinity very adorable. Loves. Isaac is adorable. He is. He is the most adorable person, character I've I mean, ever played. Also a reason he's, like Maxwell he, didn't want to kill you. It's because I'm a good, good person. No scientific respect. That's about it. Because I mean, I'm a good person. <laughs> no, if you didn't have a moral compass, Maxwell probably would have gotten along with you better. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a doctor, and there's that whole you know, <laughs> do no harm bit in being a doctor. You should have had the hypocritical oath, not the Hippocratic oath. God. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, do you want to tell everybody uh, where they can find you at? What you got going on? Um, sure. You want to go first this time? I always go first. You should go first this time. Yeah, Saber, go first. So I'm the one doing right. the outro, so. Yeah, he's doing Damn the it. outro. Go first. <sighs> okay, folks, so hey there, I'm Arlen. I uh, am indie trash, basically, both in the sense that I play a whole lot of indie games on my YouTube and my Twitch channel, and actually focus on doing indie gaming reviews as well as interviews with the developers. That aside, and part of why I'm here, is I'm also a huge fan of tabletop RPGs, and including indie ones there, too. It's part of why the whole appeal of going into, like, an offshoot of... Uh, 
while Fallout in D&D 5e had like a special appeal to it, was getting to explore like a different take on the system. It's also why I really enjoy Shadows of the Demon Lord. And also why I love it whenever <laughs> DMs homebrew stuff. But yeah, that, that's basically that. I just, I like sort of highlighting the works of smaller folks because there's just a lot of quality stuff that does fall between the cracks. Well said. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Adam. How's it going? Um, I'm everywhere most days. Uh, I'm here on Sundays. I'm on Mondays. I play in a home game of uh, we're starting tem uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage or whatever it's called tomorrow. Um, we ended uh, Dragon Heist the best way possible. Um, I was at 1 HP, uh, two of our characters were blind, one of our characters was on death's door, um, and the other one was being mind-controlled. Um, it was beautiful, and we got a neutral ending. Nice. Like, that's the best part. We got, like, a straight, even ending. Like, we didn't come out super, super on top as much as we'd wanted, but, like, we still, like, got all the money, um, and the bad guy lived. Yeah, and see, that's sort of the ending to Fallout. Like, Not a sort of neutral ending there, because like, the I lived. Um, but yeah, no, like it was, oof, uh, it was awesome. Like it was the perfect ending. Um, so we're starting the next one tomorrow. Uh, Tuesdays, uh, it alternates between Starfinder and Supernatural. Um, Starfinder, the awesome uh, Pathfinder in space, and Supernatural, which is my wonky. Uh, homebrewed version of D20 Modern um, because I wanted more than like two options for things um, and I have a DM who is pretty awesome and basically went go crazy um, you take care of mechanics I'll take care of story so I got to dick around with the mechanics of D20 Modern uh, Wednesday is alternating between uh, All Out of Bubblegum which I believe this week is I don't prep for that, so I don't know. Um, it's just like I wake up and I'm like, oh, hey, it's this this week. Um, yeah, because Hyardal was last week. Um, Hyardal, which is my uh, basically Ragnarok um, like actual myth, not Thor Ragnarok, which is just a really good movie. It is. Uh, th Thursday is Curse of Strahd. Um, we are coming back after our holiday off, ho holidays off uh, this week, and uh, we hit level 7, and I got to do some cool things with my character. Uh, people should multi-class more. <laughs> and then Fridays is Threads of Fate. Uh, this week we are uh, going to die because we're fighting Lord Soth and Kryn. Yeah, most likely. We're gonna die! Yeah. Like, you know, when I found out who the bad guy was, games. I'm just like, Ha! Well, I'm glad I brought my backup character instead of my normal character. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, it's going to be fantastic. I was fangirling the entire time we were playing it because it was just like all these lovely like memories of my childhood. Um, but so we are doing a two shot uh, little hiatus thing before we return to our normal ske normally scheduled Storm King's Thunder. Um, Thursday, I don't have anything going on at the moment, but there might be something coming up in the future because I have a problem. Um, but it may not. We'll see. I'm attempting to, like, keep a day that is free, but my days off will be changing soon. So, like, I'm, like, struggling to, like, find that day that I can have free. Right. So I'm just going to be like, okay... I'm just I, what I might since I'm gonna have Sundays off. I might just like keep Saturday free so I can just have like from Saturday when I get home at, after work to like Sunday evening free, right? Like with some great fun here, of course. But um, yeah. So um, that's me. Like I'm everywhere at some point, um, and I, I, I like. I have this issue where, like, whenever I've never played a this this is I've never played just a normal game, apart from like maybe one because yeah, 
homebrewing is fun and everybody should do it a little bit even like even just a few little tweaks like i my first time i dm'd i literally went none of this is exactly what i want and i sort of like cobbled together my own system um which i'm working on making an actual system and will potentially be out on like dm's guild and stuff nice Um, so yeah it's a uh, low fantasy, uh, high tech, futuristic system um, with psionics. So, nice. yeah. But that's it for me. Savrik, why don't you tell us about you? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I've uh, been your game master this evening. Um, you can find me on Twitter or Twitch, both at Savrik. Uh, obviously, since you're here, if you're listening, um, <laughs> if you're not, I, I, it's how did fine. I get here? Oh, uh, let's see what I got going on. Uh, Saturdays, I got Temple of Elemental Evil on the Greyhawk channel um, at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Jeez, um, what else do I have going on um, besides this channel? Where we're probably going to be doing some one shots or dicking around for a few weeks until we really figure out what we're going to be doing. Which we kind of know what we're going to be doing. But we can't talk about it yet. So, <coughs> yeah. Um, let's see, I think... What's today? The 7th? I, th- um, I think next Saturday or the Saturday after that. I can't remember. One of the two. I'm going to be playing with Wally DM, um, who is a trap designer. Um, if you go look on his YouTube, we have... Um, this would be the third time I think I've played with him, so I'm sort of testing out his uh, his different things. Um, so it's kind of fun to get into the mind of somebody who does uh, these these sort of things and um, play test them with them um, with the designer themselves, you know. So it, it should be a lot of fun. I don't know if we're going to be streaming it or not. Um, I couldn't tell you. It most likely won't be, but it would probably be released later on, um, just to keep the uh, the the traps um, under wraps until their time to release on his YouTube. Um, so, shut. exactly. Um, so you can go check him out on Wally DM on YouTube. Um, at Twitter, I think it's Wally D two. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I go give him a follow because it's, it's really fun. It's he's he's really really intelligent and really fun guy to talk to. So by all means, uh, if you're not following him, you should be. Um, gosh, I think that's about all I got going on right now, if I remember correctly working on my own personal stuff so oh oh shit i got birthright 5e coming up this month too yeah Man. you do uh january january 25th i want to say i think it's a friday Close. um 8 30 p.m eastern standard time if i remember correctly that'll be on pro restarters channel um i'm playing with people i've never played with before so it should be interesting um yeah all i can say is that we'll be starting we'll be starting planescape 5e here in a few months so um, I'm really looking forward to that. It's like my baby. Um, I really enjoy playing Scape. Excited. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, so um, look forward to that. Um, also, I might be doing, I want to say it's maybe three to four episodes. Um, they're going to be like one shots, but like concurrent, you know what I mean? Um, it be like a module over on the Greyhawk channel as well. Um, Nice. haven't got a time set for that or a day set for that, but I'm um, sort of a throwback to the patrons themselves, so I'm just a way of saying thanks for supporting the channel. Um, other than that, that's about all I got. Um, so thanks everybody who's stuck around and watched us for 10 episodes. Um, thanks yeah. a lot to um, Adam and to Arlie here who have stuck it out the entire time. I really appreciate it. Um I went in with this thinking this is going to be my baby, and we're going to have a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I appreciate the two of you sticking around as long as you have. Um, so maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll go back into this one day. Who knows? I enjoyed just the whole build-up and everything. It was a lot of fun having you sort of get us both on point so we didn't spend our time turning it into a sim farming game for squirrels. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> And, um, oh yeah, go check out Split Elf Studios, who did the 5e hack for this. Um, got, there's some people out there running it now. Look, Captain Reboot, I think, is running one. Um, God, there's another... I think there's a list on there. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. There's another lady, and I feel terrible for not remembering her name, but I know she's doing it. Um, you can go check out, um, I think it's X Party, who's actually doing, I think, a Starfinder based Fallout game. Using the I Starfinder think, um, rules. There's another one that. Is it like Dump, is Dumpstack Charisma doing it? Yes, Dumpstack Charisma. They, they do okay. one too. Yeah. It's like The King's Ransom, I think, is yeah. the name of their campaign. Yeah, they've been doing it for a long time. Uh, yeah. Yep. So if you if you want more Fallout, by all means, go check them people out. Or go check out Spilled L Studios and run your own Fallout campaign. That's what do I encourage it. you to do. Definitely. Grab some fans, drink some whiskey, and have some fun. That's what I like to do. So thanks, guys. We'll get back to you as soon as we can with what we're going to do next. Hopefully some paranoia or something. We'll see. So, but for now, um, gosh, I don't have a witty outro. Do you guys have a witty outro? I uh, know. Really, I'm really I've... like, tear, take care, folks, and I hope like you've enjoyed. Ten watching. fucking episodes of puns, and you can't give me one witty outro. I swear. Look, man, I do the puns to pain you, not the audience. <laughs> I mean, like my brain is gone now. Like we end as soon as like we hit that last roll, my brain was just like, okay. I mean, I guess it could have been like, I so. hope you had a radical time. Yeah. God. Yeah, no, no, I'm no, sorry, no. I asked. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>